Welcome back to Expeditions Mud Runner. In this video, we're going to be going through my ultimate beginner guide. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to help you out. And starting off, make sure you are scouting everywhere to find new airdrops and other goodies. If you have a look here on the map, you're going to see there's an airdrop there. We have an airdrop over here. And then even over here, the games tutorial is going to show you this one, but there's another airdrop, there's question marks and stuff. So make sure you are using your drone and your binoculars to scout everywhere because you never know when you're going to find upgrades for your trucks and stuff. Next up, just a very quick one. Co-op is unfortunately not available at the launch of the game. It's going to be added into the game, however, and they are going to do that as a free post-launch update. I believe it's going to be in a few months or so. That's what they've said so far. And next up is that this is not SnowRunner. You are not going to be delivering wooden planks and things like that. Instead, you are going to be taking on set expeditions on different maps until you've completed them all. And once you have completed them all on a map, you are going to unlock free roam mode where you have the ability to do what you want and go where you want, find all the upgrades and everything like that. And next up is if you flip over in this game, like completely overturned, there are no worries whatsoever like there were in previous titles like SnowRunner. You're not going to have to try and use a crane to turn yourself back over or try and winch to something to turn yourself back over. You're not even going to have to restore back to a garage. Instead, there is a new item in Expeditions MudRunner that is called a jack screw, and that is going to flip you back over. Next up is when you are in an expedition, for an example, we go to Arizona. If we go to Conquest of the Frontier, you are not limited to taking one truck into an expedition in this game. You can see that you are able to take four. So if you want to do some scouting, you can take a scout truck. If you've got to do some cargo stuff, you can take a cargo based truck. And not only that, if you have a look on the left hand side, you've got tips. It says it's easy. The distance is 1120. The terrain is ravines. And the truck that's recommended is a scout. So if we come out of this expedition screen and we go back to Little Colorado, you'll see for an example here, it says truck, two trucks. So I would always take multiple trucks into the expedition, but you're not necessarily going to use both of them. Or even if you take four, you're not necessarily going to use all of them, but you are not limited to one truck per expedition. Then next up, during expeditions, when you need to, for an example, recover a truck, if you are a little bit stuck, what you can do is attach the winch at a distance then what you're going to do is back up the truck that you're driving towards the truck that you're recovering and then if you absolutely slam it down like you put your foot down give it a little bit of welly you can get out of that bad position and not only that when you are pulling trucks and stuff make sure that you always pull the winch at the same time as you drive in in order to get that little bit more pulling power and do not forget when it's a truck to turn on the truck engine. And then when you are like customizing your vehicles, getting ready to take some trucks into an expedition, I highly, highly recommend that every single one you take a jack screw and you grab an anchor. These are going to cost you money. You are going to get some missions, like the expeditions give you a prepayment so that you can like buy some of these things to take with you. But even if you don't use them, I highly recommend always taking them with you because you never know what's going to happen. The terrain can sometimes be a little bit iffy and you might accidentally flip over and if you don't have a jack screw on you, you're going to be screwed. Next up, if you are in an expedition, you have multiple vehicles or trucks with you and you want to switch. For an example, I'm in the TUZ-16 at the moment, but I want to drive my Don 71. What you can do is go to your map and you bump it all the way along to objects and you're going to hover over the Don 71. Click on it to get the description of it up and then click again and you are going to be put in that vehicle. So to switch from the Don 71, go back to the map, go to objects, click on my truck and again, and you're now going to be driving the truck. And next up is once you complete all of the expeditions on a map and you open up free roam, make sure that you are taking a truck into free roam that has the metal detector on it. So if we go to the, like you can see under devices, like here on the Cotco Canyon, you can actually see the metal detector on top of it. And the reason I say to take a metal detector in is because if we go to devices and we use, if you have to start the engine, make sure the engine's on to so use the metal detector. But then what we're going to do is pull up our devices. We're going to scan or use the metal detector. And you're not going to be able to drive whilst you're doing this. But once that's popped up, it's going to show you a little like, radius as to where something is. You're going to get like different materials, upgrades and things like that. So while you're in free roam, use a scout, get on the metal detector because it's going to be very, very important, especially when it comes to truck upgrades. But not only that, when you are in free roam, if you have a look, it says expedition is to explore the map. If you go along, you actually have different contracts and then there are separate tasks as well. 
I had one over here to recon the area with a drone, nice and simple, and I earned some money. So when you're in free roam, make sure you're doing the tasks, the contract, and using your metal detector. And then last but definitely not least, if you are doing an expedition that's got the first objective really far away from where you're starting. So say for an example, we have a stone ford over here on the right hand side. If we were to go into that expedition, I'll show you in free roam then you don't have to start at the outpost that's going to be really far away. If we just take in this truck and we deploy, when you're on the deployment screen, say the game is telling you you're going to spawn at the eastern outpost, what you can then do is click A. That's going to bring up the option to select your deploy zone, and then you can click on the field operation base. You can put that on the list, so now we're going to spawn there instead of all the way over here. So depending on the location of your expedition to save a load of traveling, all you have to do is on the deployment screen, you just have to click on an Xbox controller anyway. You just have to press A. It's going to pop up your different spawn locations, and then you can change them. So if I do it like this, and we spawn at the eastern uh, outpost, once we have loaded in, you're going to see that we've spawned at the outpost that is right on the left-hand side of the map. But say our objective, or like if I wanted to go for an airdrop, is over on the right-hand side. Then what you would do instead is click on the uh, button on the map and go to the field operation base, select there, and then start your expedition. And it's important to do this before you start the expedition, as I believe there is a recovery fee when you're in a set expedition. However, if you're in free roam, if you go to the map and you move along to the outpost, or even if you tap along to objects, once you are there, you can select between the two, and then if you click on Eastern Outpost, in free roam, the truck recovery is free. So if I recover to here, there we go. I'm now at the Eastern Outpost. So that is my ultimate beginner guide for Expeditions Mud Runner. Some tips and tricks to help you guys out. And what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.